Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's series of Tech Tip videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be discussing our AquaBalance boiler and how to clean the plate heat exchanger for domestic hot water production. As we all know, on-demand water heaters tend to accumulate lime scale in the heat exchanger due to the fact that water will contain minerals. These minerals adhere to surfaces and the heat transfer process accelerates the buildup. So, we have to flush these units out on a regular basis. Today, we will look at two different methods of removing this scale. Keep in mind, this video is meant as a supplement to the boiler manual, so be sure to familiarize yourself with the section on maintenance in the manual. If the boiler has been installed with the quick connect service valves and you have a small transfer pump, the preferred method will be to simply flush the heat exchanger with a suitable descaling chemical that is NSF approved. It must be compatible with stainless steel class AISI 316. Now, we want to make sure the boiler is de-energized and the unit has cooled. With the quick connect valves closed, release the pressure from the domestic piping and connect the two hoses to the fittings. Fill the pump tank with the approved chemical and circulate the fluid by activating the pump switch. The duration of cleaning will depend on the level of scale in the unit. Never exceed the maximum treatment time specified by the chemical manufacturer. Once you have completed the cleaning process, you can disconnect the cold water side and flush the heat exchanger with domestic water into your bucket. Be sure to dispose of the waste properly. Then, disconnect the hose from the hot water side and the unit is ready to be placed back in service. If the boiler does not have quick connect service valves, you may want to remove the plate heat exchanger from the unit. This is likely easier than disconnecting the piping and trying to connect the tapered threads to a hose connection. To begin, once again, make sure the boiler is de-energized and the unit is cooled. Close the cold water inlet and release the domestic pressure by opening a hot water tap. Isolate the heating side of the boiler with the valves, then release the heat exchanger pressure by loosening the screw on the pump. We will be demonstrating the procedure on a 155 boiler, but the procedure for the 80 and the 120 are similar with the plate heat exchanger in a slightly different location. Follow your manual for those models. Now, on the 155, we simply need to loosen the four compression nuts on the heat exchanger. Use of a crow's foot wrench can ease removal. Next, remove the left side jacket and remove the heat exchanger from the left. Once the heat exchanger is removed, it can be immersed in the chemical cleaning bath. The treatment time will be determined by the amount of scale deposits present in the heat exchanger, but never more than the maximum treatment time specified by the manufacturer. After the cleaning process, thoroughly rinse the heat exchanger with potable water to remove all residual chemicals and reinstall. Be sure the gaskets are in place and in good condition. Then. Purge the air from the heating side as you refill the boiler to the desired pressure and the unit is ready to be placed back in service. Remember to always follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the manual and the cleaning process will go smoothly so that your customer can enjoy the benefits of their boiler for many years to come. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this information has been helpful to you and be sure to keep an eye out for new videos so we can help you keep your customers happy.